Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheet video in Practical Sheets, actually Google Forms and Google Sheets today. What we're going to do is a thing that I've been asked frequently, is how to... I've already done videos in showing you how to link a Google Form with a Google Sheet so you can have all your responses in one Google Sheet. That's okay. But sometimes, in specific cases, you want that your responses are separated, are categorized. In the example we're going to work today, we will have locations for locations, Toronto, Bogotá, Madrid, and Buenos Aires. The idea is that when I receive a response where the location is Toronto, it will go directly to my Toronto sheet and the same for the other sheets, for Bogotá, for Buenos Aires, and for Madrid. We're going to learn few di different tricks and different things we could do. For example, we could also have a dropdown where you can choose the one you want and then you'll see only this one if you don't want to have four different sheets. The bad thing about the first method we're going to learn using formulas is that it's only for consultation. This is with a query formula, so if you try to change anything, it won't work, it will damage the formula. So we're going to see a second way, a second method using Google Apps Script. In this way, it will automatically, once you get the response for Toronto, for example, it will go to this Toronto, and but it will write it down. This means that if I then change the last name, it won't be a problem. The only problem with that is that it won't change it in the master file. You will have a master with all the cities and then you'll have each city. But in theory, the master file won't matter to you. You'll just hide it and then you'll use the other ones. Okay, I know you're gonna love it. It's a really nice video. We're going to see the two, met the two methods. But before we begin, let me invite you to subscribe to the channel, the notify me button, hit the little bell to notify you every week when there's a new video. And if you want the template for these and more than 100 videos in the channel, just go to the Patreon page in the description below and download them there and see them a week earlier. So thanks again. Thanks especially to my Patreons. So let's begin. We're going to create a form from scratch, like I like to do. So forms.new, we're going to create a form for enrollment. Let's say enrollment, volunteer enrollment. So I just want your name, maybe your email. So I'll go here, I'll create it. I see, so I don't have to, to put it in every time. I'm going to put the email without any validation. That's not the best practice, but it'll work for now. And finally, I'm going to put the city or maybe the, the I have some locations, location. And the multiple choice may be here. I have one in Toronto. That's it, an enrollment form for volunteers. Let's do a test, but before doing a test, we're going to connect it to a sheet. So here in responses, I'm going to click link to sheets. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. I haven't give it, given it a name yet. So I'm just going to click here and it will put the same name I gave to the form. For now, it's okay. Let's keep, click responses, now link to sheets. Here I can say volunteer enrollment sheet. Let's hit create. And now I have my sheet. Let's do a test. So we're going to go to this little eye of preview. And for now, I'm just interested in the location for now. So let's do one Toronto, one Bogota, one Madrid. And if I go to my sheet, here I have Toronto, Bogota, Madrid. What I want, the objective of this video is to put all Toronto in one sheet, all Bogota volunteers in one sheet, all Madrid volunteers in another sheet. So we're going to create the sheets. Toronto, Bogota, Madrid, ah, I haven't done Buenos Aires. We could even, if we have a lot of options, we could do it with a, with a script, but even though there, there are few options for now, it's okay. There are two ways of doing this. The first one is with formulas that has its advantage and its disadvantage. The advantage is that I don't have to do any coding and I can do it all from here. So it's as easy as doing a query function. We could also do it with filter, but I believe the easiest ways to do it with a query. So we're going to do query here. If you don't know about query, there are some videos. There's a, a mini course in the channel or there are a lot of videos where I do advanced things with query. So query just takes 
a database in this case is this database i'm going to hit comma and then i'm going to say what do i need from the query this is where it's a bit tricky query so i'm going to say that for now i'm going to need the four maybe i don't need the timestamp you know so i will say select i don't need the timestamp so just b that is the name c that is the email d that is the location that's it maybe even i want to change it first and then the the name so c then b then d let's hit enter and here i have it toronto Bogota, madrid what is the nice thing about query that i can filter and i can sort and i can do a lot of things like selecting the columns like we already did so here i only want the toronto ones so what i'm going to say is where again i'm not going to stop in explaining query i have other videos for that so where the column c actually is the column d from my main table will be equal to in a single quotation i will put toronto respecting the upper and lower cases hit enter and it only brings toronto and the cool thing about this is that if i submit another response given that i didn't explain you this given that i left this open without a number then it will always bring all the data so if i do another one now i will do it with name one and then toronto again and then submit it and i go here it automatically brings it here i have my main and then i have this other one so i'm going to do the same for all of them let's do bogota so i'm just going to copy this paste it here actually it could have duplicated the, the sheet and then just change it but it's the same it's pretty similar bogota so for now i only have one bogota when aside is the same and here it will be my date and if you prefer there's another thing we could do we could go here insert two rows above let's say city and then here toronto and then this we could change it we could do a concatenation of strings so i'm just going to do ampersand sorry double quotation ampersand then i'm going to choose toronto or this b1 cell then ampersand again then double quotation again then enter so if i put toronto here it's okay but if i put Bogota, better yet i could even go further and uh drop down so i could right click and say drop down and it will have toronto by default but i could do this go that is a drop down from a range and then select the range here in my form responses here starting in d2 and go up to d so that it gets all of my responses and i say done and let's go to toronto and again i could do this toronto bogota madrid here i don't have buenos aires in this moment but if i if I submitted Buenos Aires. Now I have Buenos Aires and I could select. Okay, so you have multiple options. You could do a sheet for each one or just doing it with a filter. There are a lot of ways of doing this. The way we've done it works really well with formulas. However, it has one major disadvantage. The disadvantage is that this is only for consults. Query doesn't work for editing. So if I wanted to change Pedro for Juan, then it will damage my query. And there is no easy way of fixing this. The best way is to not use query at all, but use Google Apps Script. This is what we're going to do in the second part of the video. So I'm just going to delete this, this part, and delete this, and I'm just going to bring this and copy it here. And let's see how this could work for Toronto. So, we're going to create a Google Apps Script. Going to Google Apps Script. There are many ways of doing it. We could do it directly from forms, directly from sheets, and even in sheets, we could do it in various ways. So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to create a function called categorize responses. Now we're going to have an E or an event send you to the video that I did on creating consecutive numbers in forms where I explained this event a bit more in detail, but I'm not going to stop today to much on that. I'm just going to tell you that this won't work when I run it directly from my Google Apps Script. I need to create a trigger. So first I'm going to give a name to the project. Let's call this a uh, categorize and responses. Let's rename it. Then we're going to go 
now that I have my categorized responses, I'm going to save it. I'm going to go to triggers. I'm going to add a trigger for my categorized responses function. I'm going to say that this trigger will trigger <laughs> when a form is submitted. So it is very important for this to work that I have linked a form to my sheet like I did at the beginning of the video. So once I have this e event, there are a couple of methods I can call and we could do this in different ways. For now, I'm going to call a method called range. What range does is that it brings the range that Google Sheets has had pasted. So for example, if I send something right now, it will paste it here from A8 to D8. This range is the one that will be stored in this range variable. So we can do some things to range. One of the things we could do to range is to do copy to, and I need to have a destiny range. What destination range? Where are we going to get that destination range? We just need to know here in Toronto, what is the last row that I have available? So what we're going to do is to spreadsheet up dot get active spreadsheet, then dot get active sheet, actually get sheet by name, and the name will be Toronto. This will be called city sheet. Now I need to know what is the row where I'm going to paste my range. So the last row plus one. So this will be city sheet dot get last row plus one. This will be my row to paste. And now that, now that I have my row to paste, I could create my destiny range. It will be city sheet dot get range. Let's begin in my row to paste. Let's begin in number one column. And how many in column number one? How many rows? One row. How many columns? The columns that E range has. So what we're going to do is have this E range on top and call it range to copy. We're going to get the number of columns for, for that range, range to copy dot get num columns. And we're going to name this columns. And here it will be columns. And this is my range. And actually this should be it. Let's say my trigger won't work. Why? Because now I'm calling a spreadsheet up and it's possible that I'm going to need a new permission. So for this, I'm going to go to trigger just to be safe. We're going to edit it and save it. Nothing more. It didn't ask me for any permission, so we should be okay. Now let's do it. Let's submit another response. It should be Toronto. So one and let's do Toronto. Let's submit it. Let's go here and it has pasted. Perfect. You know, so, and now this I can edit it. One with man. But the thing that is missing is that this is working only for Toronto, not for Bogota, not for Buenos Aires, not for Madrid. So we just need to do a bit, a small change. What I need to know is the city. And the city is in my column four. So having this range, I could get the city. I need first the sheet where we are doing this. So a way will be to having let sit response sheet will be spreadsheet up dot get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name and I think it's called uh, cities or responses I'm not sure responses now that I'm using spreadsheet app get active spreadsheet twice I could put it in, in just one variable called worksheet and it's easier so I could replace this for worksheet and this for worksheet also and I have shorter lines and now I have my response sheet so what I can do is response sheet get range and the range is I need the row of my range but I haven't had it yet so this is row to paste now I need row to copy so this will be row to copy is very similar to this range to copy 
dot get row. So here in my get range, I have my row to copy, and I know that my CD is in the column four. I'm going to get the value, and this will be my CD. Let's save this in a variable called CD, or whatever you are doing, if you are doing products, if you are doing category, whatever. And here I'm going to change this by CD. So it's very important that the names of your sheets are the same names of the CDs exactly for this to work. CD and everything should continue to work perfectly. Let's save and let's test it. Toronto again. So we're going to do one more Toronto with Juanito. Let's see here. Here perfect. Now let's do Buenos Aires. Submit it. And here it is. Actually, I had it, I had a problem because I didn't had I haven't pasted that. So first let's do let's arrange this. And now let's do uh, this change it everything. Now let's do you want Madrid. And here is Madrid. Perfect. And now you don't have the problem with the formulas. You could then change it to whatever you want. The only bad thing about this is that you need to keep this sheet. Maybe you can hide it if you want. There is another method where you don't need this, but I don't think this should be a problem. You can have a master file and then you have your all other sheets with the categories, the cities, the, the countries, whatever you would like. That's it. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you want the code or you want to ask me any questions or something, just go to the Patreon page and you can find the template for this and the more than 100 videos in the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you especially to my Patreons. They make this possible. See you next time.